Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Alex here, and welcome to another five minutes or less tour. This time it's the Sunshine Trading Co op, I believe it's called. It's that little camp that's on the west side of the map. Running up here, I have some scaffolding here as a little guard post to look out of. There's my power armor, nice and pretty, and the old recruitment beacon. You can look over down the hill. Great vantage point. That is annoying me that the turbines are floating, but wasn't able to finagle it where they weren't. In here, it's kind of a power armor and robot building facility. The whole idea of the settlement is the Lone Wanderer is settling down, building a little town, and doing doing their version of the Minutemen or Brotherhood or whatever you want to call it. So here we have some power armor they're building, because why not? You have access to a bunch of them, some more suits that are being built. And then I just have random supplies around to fill out the room. Around here, I just put some junk walls to kind of close it off. Should have put that around more of its own, but it didn't. Here is for the higher ups, the more important people. They have some nice, cozy living quarters. And then we're moving on to the next cabin, which is again living quarters. And it's more tight space. This is for the nitty gritty, you're just foot soldier type stuff. Around the camp, there's random turrets and stuff for defense purposes. Right there is the water. Over by this building, we have our farm. There's random melons on the ground. I have some tomatoes and corn grown. In here is like the weapons and armor manufacturing area, some, which is nice and messy. And you have a little corner for medical supplies, door on the floor, and then you have your food cooking area. Over there we see more scaffolding, which is another guard, guard post to look out over. And right there is where I have the Brahmins kind of messed up. And I figure it's nice because that building is kind of useless because there's no wall. In here is kind of like the wreck area. It's still being built. You have some nice little pool tables, a jukebox some storage trying to get around that person but couldn't finagle it finally they move and here i have the bathroom moving on is the scaffolding i mentioned where it's an actual guard post i was able to place one on this one and it looks over this little area which you have a nice view vantage point and then moving on down we're going to pass by the brahmin again and not much to that little hut there it's got the back blown out and a blocked door. I'm going to peek through it. I put a chair there. I think that was there originally, actually. And it's kind of useless, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, so I left it there. Over here, we have some junk walls that are bordering our artillery for nice defensive purposes. I have some turrets and stuff in between. And that's kind of to keep the people on there safe in case they're of an attack. Moving on over here in this little shack. Wasn't sure what to do with it, so I popped two little stores in there for people just visiting. We're passing through. Nice little robot for extra security, even though he's my follower. In here is more of the office space. You have some you have some filing cabinets, you have some lockers, storage and stuff, and some desks for whoever's working there. And then up here we have an old guard post with a turret looking down the hill. It's nice. I accidentally clicked in the bots there, didn't need to. And this one is just our old storage shed. It just has some random items, weapons, clothing, food. And that is it for this settlement. Okay, and that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I love reading your comments. So please comment on anything. It could be about the cats, about future episodes, about something you would like to see on the channel, anything. Other than that, this is Sergeant Alex, and I hope you have a nice day.